Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the fact that life is a game and it doesn't have to be so serious. <laughs> life is a game and the reason I say this, first off, my channel is called The Soul's Playground. So you can tell that that was actually one of my very first ever sort of downloads, channel messages. I know not everyone believes in this type of thing, but I'm, I'm telling you this came from I don't know where it came from. I started writing out a bunch of information at one point in my life. This was when I first had my sort of awakening, as some people like to call it. And um, I wrote down the Souls Playground. I wrote down that we came here to play. And so basically, <laughs> based around this concept of life is just a game, when we come to this earth, we are... As I've said in my other videos, I'd recommend to watch my other videos before this one potentially just to help understand the subject m better or look more into Neville Goddard, different authors like this as well, but we are consciousness when we come to this planet. We are source energy, we're the universe, whatever you want to call it, God. When we come here, we are this pure energy and we know everything. We are everything when we come here. We have all experienced everything because creation is finished when we come to this earth creation is already finished but we have this earth to be able to experience the creation that is ourselves because when we are just source energy we're just consciousness we may be able to know and have everything but we can't just experience the the surprises in life or we can't experience what it's like to feel sadness, to feel grief, to feel really, really wanting something. There's certain things that we cannot experience unless we have this physical form reality where we have also the concept of time because time is the biggest thing. When we have time, we have to wait for things. We have to work to get somewhere. We also have a start and an end, whereas source consciousness itself does not have a start or an end. It just exists all the time, always. But on this earth, it makes things a lot more valuable when we get here because we realize we only have a finite amount of time to accomplish things. And also, we think we have to accomplish things. We think we have to work hard to get things. Whereas when we are just source of consciousness, everything just comes to us instantly because there is no time there. Everything is happening in the now moment. Everything is happening right now. But when we come to this earth, it's not that we have time really. It's just that we have this perceived notion of time. We think there's time. When we come here, this earth really is just a big illusion. It's not really as real as we think it is, but the universe, ourselves, our higher selves have made it so realistic that we've come to really, really believe it. And that's kind of the exciting part. It's like a video game that got so good, the graphics got so good that we just got so immersed in it that we started to forget that we were actually the people controlling the character in the game. That we're not just the character itself, we are also the person controlling the game. And this is such a fun kind of concept or way of looking at things, but I like to look at it as like we are, you could say like God's avatar or the avatar for our higher self. So when it comes to controlling your character in this reality, that is where assumptions come in. That is where speaking in your mind comes in or visualizing comes in. Because the moment that you say, like, I'm going to be rich, you are now selecting a reality where you are rich, where your character is rich. You've selected that reality. And now your character may not know that you've selected that reality. It still thinks it's living in the same one because it doesn't really notice anything different. But you know, as your higher self, that you've selected that reality and like the button is on. And so as your character, I like to think of it kind of like Sims or something or like, I don't know, like a life real reality game. I don't know what those are called, but your character is now on the timeline or in the reality where they're going to become rich. So now you're just playing the game until they become rich. So now all these experiences are going to unfold in this reality where they're going to become rich. Do you see what I'm saying? So you can select different realities whenever you want for your character. And when you select them, think of it like you are selecting for a character. You already know. You're like, <laughs> I like to think of it like when I come back to my physical self, when I'm acting as the character itself, I kind of smirk to myself because I'm like, 
yeah, well, I already know how this is gonna play out, right? Like, cause I know as my higher self, I've already selected this. You're just coming to this planet to forget, to play as a character. You already know everything. You've already experienced everything. You already know everything you're gonna experience in this lifetime, but you come as this character to forget it so that it can seem exciting, so it can seem new, so you can experience things like surprises, things like seeing a sunset for the first time, you know, holding someone's hand for the first time, falling in love, the experience of also sadness, losing things or death or those kinds of things. And the way that I have understood this is that we need the contrast of negative experiences to make the positive experience more profound. That's why we also have life and death because it would not be so important to us if we never died, if we just lived forever, things would not seem so important. You know, if we didn't have these sad moments or we couldn't lose things, then we wouldn't value things so much. That is why we have this contrast in this life. That is why we have this experience because we want us to be able to experience ourselves without knowing and being everything all at once. And, but the funny thing is, once again, we were, we're still everything. We still know everything. We still are everything. We just are playing pretend. We're literally playing pretend on this earth to forget it but we still know it. And the way that you can understand this is try asking your higher self something. Try asking it a question. Like, it will always give you an answer in some way. It will come about in a strange way. It'll be like an experience or you'll read a quote somewhere that'll, you know, give you uh, this moment of just realization. But you still know everything. And that's why you're able to select every experience, any experience that you want in this reality because you're still your higher self. You're still... It's, I like to think of it like if you want to visualize it I like to think of my higher self kind of like sitting in a throne with like a video game controller or a screen in front of them and they're selecting things and like I can be that person anytime I want to change my reality but then as soon as I want to experience something I come back into my physical body and I'd be really present in the moment because now I know that I'm just living the reality that my higher self selected so when you select a reality you say like I am going to feel really happy today or something or I'm going to have the best day ever you've now selected that as your higher self sitting in your little throne by your computer screen whatever you've selected that you click the button on and now you come back to your physical self as in you be fully present in your body and now you just go about your day you don't think about anything else you don't have to do anything else you just go about your day and you know that you were in that timeline that your higher self has selected and now you just live through the experiences knowing that you were on the you were living in this video game reality where everything's going to unfold so that you have the best day ever. <laughs> but you don't have to do anything else. That's the thing. You're already in that reality. And though it happens instantly with your higher self, like we've talked about, everything happens instantly in imagination, it will have to unfold in this reality to make sense to you. Because again, to keep the experience realistic, it has to seem like uh, things have to happen for this to come to you. But really, it's already yours. Okay, I hope this is making sense because this concept was just so great for me to understand and it really separates your higher self from your physical self and you can kind of like see the difference between the two. And you know what's really cool is that I've tested this. I've tried this concept multiple times and you don't have to use it for just things like I want to experience this reality. You can also use it for things like certain feelings or emotions. If you want to feel a certain way, you can say, well, my character feels happy today. And then you go back in your physical body and you just go through your normal day. Again, not forcing anything, not expecting it right away. You can still expect it, but you don't have to, don't stress yourself out if you don't feel like it right away. But over time, once you start to kind of like go about your day, and I always say it happens when you start to forget about it. That's why being immersed in the present moment is so important because once you immerse yourself in the present moment and you're just going about your day like I often will like clean the house or something I'll do stuff that really I need my full attention for I guess that's not necessary but you can go out and go to work do all your normal stuff and eventually at some point you're going to forget about the fact that you asked for this and then you'll find yourself feeling happier today or you'll find yourself feeling whatever feeling you decided earlier in the day it'll just come about out of nowhere and that's because you selected it so all the feelings that you have, they're not even yours. Like, you aren't even your feelings either. You're just selecting your feelings as your higher self, which is super cool to realize because if you're ever feeling really down or really sad, select a different feeling 
and know you are now in that reality. Even though you might not feel it right away, just know that eventually you're going to feel that feeling. I promise you this works. This is really, really important because for people that have anxiety or get stressed out, like it's really nice to know that if you select a happier feeling, eventually you're going to feel that feeling. It's going to come to you, but you have to select it and you have to basically just know that you were in that reality and you will experience it. Another thing you can select as well is appearance. Think of it like, once again, it's a video game. How do you want your character to appear? Start asking yourself this. How do I want my character to appear in their experience? First off, once again, do I want them to be rich? Do I want them to feel happy today? What do I want them to wear today? How do I want them to look today? You can decide everything. So say your character, you want them to have perfect skin. You start saying, you know, I selected perfect skin. All right, now go back to your physical body, live in the reality where you have perfect skin. You have selected it as your higher self. And now you just have to live in that experience until it unfolds in front of you. I hope this is making sense because this is like such a fun way to look at things. And it really, really helps. Once again, if you're trying to separate your higher self from your physical self and realize that you are the creator, well, not so much creator as a selector, as you are also the character the one in the game itself so i really like to think of myself like an avatar like this body that you're living in it is an avatar you can think of it like the movie avatar even so you really never can get actually um hurt in this body like it's very strange to think about but at the end of your experience here you will leave this body this avatar but you will go back to what you truly are which is your higher self your source your consciousness and that never changed you were unchanging throughout your entire lifetime here you were just here for the experience so also when you are wanting something a specific thing realize that you actually decided to come here for the experience not the thing itself because you already had that thing you already have everything that you want all the desires that you want in this reality were actually things that you were born to have they were like your your birthright so when you come here you have certain desires that are meant to be like breadcrumbs they lead you to basically be the best experience that you want to experience but you don't have to necessarily follow them but that is like your highest timeline is following your desires your desires are like little lights along the way like guiding you where to go like a little map realize that the desires that you have are actually again they're your birthright they're meant for you like you've already experienced everything, but those specific desires are ones that you wanted to experience in this lifetime and you already have. I don't know how else to explain it, but your desires are yours. Like no matter what. I know we think we have to manifest things, but again, that's just another aspect of our believing that we are in this reality and becoming so immersed in it. We think that we have to work hard for these things, but again, it's so funny because they're already ours. It's like we came here to forget that they are ours so that we can experience what it's like to get them. So anytime you get stressed out about something or you worry that, you know, you're not going to get it, realize that you already have it. You came here for the experience. That's why, you know, we always rush things and we always are trying to get somewhere, but realize the only place you're going to get is <laughs> his death. And once you die, I mean, you're not going anywhere terrible. You're going back to source or consciousness, but you're going to realize after that, that, wow, like... Why was I so stressed out about everything? I already have it. I was there for the experience. The whole point was to experience the unfolding of it. The whole point was to experience how it feels to achieve something, to love someone. The process of falling in love. It's like my mom always says to me is that the anticipation of Christmas was always better than Christmas itself. She used to always say that. She's like, I like it better than actual Christmas. Like the feeling of building up to it. And that's so true. That is what we're meant to feel in our lifetime, is that it's not about the thing that we're getting, it's about the experience leading up to it and how that makes us feel. That is why we came here, to this planet. So, you know, next time you're trying really hard to get somewhere, or you're rushing something, or you're stressed out about something, realize that you're living it right now. You're living the experience right now that you quite literally wanted to experience. Like, you asked to be here for this. And I know as a human, this seems crazy and you're like, well, I didn't ask for this. I don't want to experience this terrible thing that happened to me in my lifetime. And the thing is, you, you probably did, but you don't understand it as a human in this lifetime. Because again, our higher self, it wants to experience negative things too. It doesn't just want to experience the positive because it needs the contrast to understand the positive. 
it wants to experience all things and that yeah that includes the terrible things that we see in this world and you know what's also interesting i did see a video about this recently where they showed children in one country like in a you know just like the us or something and they were saying you know i want to they asked them what their desires were and they said i want to be a millionaire when i grow up i want to have lots of money or i want to be famous or something like that those were their desires but then when you go to like a poorer country they asked them as well the other children and they said I want my mom to feel happy again, or I want my mom to be healthy, or I want to have a toy. I would love to have a toy, or I would love to have bread. I would love to just enjoy a piece of bread. Or just something really small, but the thing is, and so they were comparing them in that video. They were comparing it to make the other children, you know, in the US look greedy or look bad, but the thing is, they were born with those desires. They didn't ask for that. Like, this was... <laughs> Realize that that's just the universe wanting to experience itself in different ways. It wants to have the experience of just wanting love or wanting, you know, have food on the table or something. So that's why when we look at other people who live in poor places, and I know people comment on videos like this and they say, well, like, they can't just wish for something and have it, but realize their desires are a lot different than yours. You might wish for these great things or being rich, but these people might wish for just something so small. Not everyone has the same desires and that's something we also have to realize just because their desire is something so little like even some people's desires could be as simple as wanting to stay alive or wanting to i don't even know just just get through the day like it could be something so simple the universe has different desires for every single human that comes here every single piece of itself because we are just fragments of this one big consciousness experiencing itself in different ways so your desires are not selfish either no one's desires are selfish they are just the desires that they were designed to have when they came here that's why we need to stop comparing ours or saying that some people are greedy or you should just want world peace or something or why do you want this you may want world peace or something but someone else may want to just own a huge company and just run the world <laughs> and that's okay because that's their experience that's what they want to experience it but you need to focus on you and focus on your desires because once again don't get caught up in anybody else because no one else can stop you from having your desires other than yourself so it really doesn't matter what everybody else is doing and I feel like this video is going long, but I really like talking about this subject. Another thing I want to say too is that I know we have issues going on in the world and people are constantly commenting. I see this all the time on like posts on Instagram. They'll be like, well, you should be thinking about this right now. Why are you posting this when this is going on in another country? And the thing is, they're doing exactly what they should be doing, which is focusing on themselves. And if they want to help another country, if you want to help another country or if you want to help someone in need... What you need to do is think positively for them rather than commenting negative things about what's going on in this country. Even though you do it out of goodness of your heart, like you're commenting to share what's going on or something, realize that's not helping anything. The way that you can help is by sending basically positive energy, aka affirming for a better reality for them or visualizing a better reality because it's really only your experience that you're seeing. So... It's your reality, so you're able to alter experiences even around the world. And I say this because I have experienced this, because I have 100% seen this happen. Yeah, uh, I, I know that everyone lives in different experiences, but in my experience, I went through a phase I was doing a lot of readings, psychic readings, because I was able to predict future events. Like, this just started happening to me, and this is how I got into knowing that I was manifesting my life. Um, because I was doing tarot readings and then I started channeling things, I started getting downloads, I started predicting very creepily accurate future events. And the thing I noticed was that like the more negative stuff I started to pick up on or talk about, like the more negative things started happening in the world around me, like weather related events, like just very negative events. And I was like, oh my God. And I started to correlate it because before I thought it was just random, but then I was like, okay, hey, there's just too many things happening that don't make any sense. And um, I figured it out and I stopped talking about those things. I started to say more positive things or just didn't focus on it at all. And that's when I saw things start to improve. And I started to see more positive things show up, at least in my life. Again, it's your experience might be different, but I started to see a lot more positive things show up. So realize that you have the power to change 
quite literally the entire world around you if you decide to. You just have to select it. And that is the way that you can help other people too. That's why it's so important. It's not selfish too to realize, like I've talked about it in some of my videos, that you are everything, that you are the universe. And some people think that concept is, is selfish, but it's really not because once you realize that you're able to help anyone that needs it, anyone around you, and you don't do it by saying things to their face, you do it by affirming things for them, deciding the reality for them, and just watching it unfold. Anyways, this video is kind of going long and is a bit rambly, but I hope you guys found something in this helpful. Again, realize that you are just a character living in this game called life, and you don't need to take it that seriously because you're really going to end up in the same place no matter what. You're going to end up back where you were at the beginning, but enjoy this experience while you have it because it is very special that you get to experience this life. And again, I say experience because that is the point of this life, is to experience. It's not to get anything out of it. It's to live the things that you already have. It's to feel the things that you wanted to feel. And if there's a particular person you know, like you fall in love with or something, um, realize you decided that before coming here. You wanted to fall in love. You wanted to know what it felt like. If you have the desire to meet the right person, that is yours. That is meant for you. And if you accept that, all you have to do is accept it. Be like, oh my god, that was that was mine all along? Okay, like I'll experience that. And then now that you've accepted it, you're going to experience it. But you have to just have faith knowing that it's unfolding in front of you. As soon as you selected it, it's now unfolding in front of you. You may not see it right away, but you're living in that reality. So you wanted to be a millionaire. You know what? Like You, you want to be a millionaire? You're already a millionaire. You already are in this moment. Right now, you're a millionaire. But you just don't see it in the physical world, so you don't believe it. But you are. The moment you selected it, it's now yours. You have to just continuously realize you're in that reality. And if you ever feel like you aren't in that reality, simply just select it again. That's all you have to do is just select it again and go back to your physical body. This is one thing, too, I want to make really clear is that when you select things as your higher self or in your mind, I like to think of it, it's like a tool. Like you go into your mind, you select what you want, and then you come back into your physical body and you be fully present and you just live your life in the physical body as your character. Like you only go into your mind if you need to change something, if you want to alter something or you want to create something new, select something new for the future. Again, the future doesn't really exist. You're selecting it for right now, but your human self doesn't know this. So <laughs> um, that's what you have to do. Select in your mind, go in your mind, select what you want, come back to your physical body, be fully present in the moment, and it will come to you. And it will often come to you when you're distracted, when you're, once again, being fully present. That's why people talk about being present so much, because it's really, that's why you're here, is to experience. So stop spending so much time in your mind affirming and thinking about things and start spending it in your body and you'll start receiving more of the things you've affirmed for. Okay. Anyways, um, I think that's probably good enough for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. Leave a comment. This was a longer one than some of my other videos. I kind of did some rambling. Let me know how you feel about the just random topics thrown in too. I feel like I talked about a lot of just little things in this video. Um, just because sometimes it could be difficult to make these videos and try to narrow down to one specific topic because they all just connect in such a way. So yeah, let me know. And thank you so much to everyone that has already joined this channel. It has grown very quickly so far, so I really appreciate it since I've only started, I think, a few weeks ago. But yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you.